We just popped up our tent trailer because we're getting ready to go on a camp trip and I thought why not make a video and show you how I have things organized. One of my favorite things about having a tent trailer, I mean a, a travel trailer in general, is that you actually get to keep camp stuff in the trailer so you don't have to worry about packing up every time or running around your house or going to storage and getting all of your different things. You actually just keep it in the trailer and it's so convenient. So I'm going to go through my trailer and I'm going to show you how I keep things packed um, where I keep them packed and how I organize them, especially in a pop-up because with the pop-up, of course, the roof goes down so I can't have anything that past a certain height. So I'm just going to show you how I organize it and what works for us. So first off with our sink, I actually keep the soap and things right in the sink just in case they leak. It's an easy cleanup um, and I don't have to store them anywhere else. This side, I don't... I don't have anything just in the one side so you don't have to worry about it then i have um these three drawers right here underneath my sink the top one um this is where we keep the faucet thing um so it doesn't scratch up the sink inside and then we have a brillo pad for all of the cast iron things that we use um and then all of my silverware that i got second drawer when we're not in i have all of these towels and then underneath the towels is i have um, my normal things that I'm going to need, you know, scissors, my big camping knife, measuring spoons, measuring cups, an apple cutter, big spoons, can opener, things like that. And then I just pack in these camping towels. Um, I usually, we always use towels and extra wash rags and I, sometimes I pack them separately, um, but I like to try to keep them in here just in case so I don't forget. Um, the third drawer, again, just some more stuff. So our camping cups. So I have two of the coffee cups, two of the wine mugs, and then um, a bunch of these collapsible bowls that we use for, you know, fruits and all kinds of things. And they come in handy because they collapse up. Then over here, I have this tiny skinny little cupboard. In here, I like to keep a lot of my kitchen supplies. So I have this which I have made into my little spice container. I got this at the dollar store and it's like the perfect little container. So I just put spices in these little things and then have, of course, you know, extra Johnny's and pepper. And then my father-in-law actually sent this to us for Christmas. We haven't used it yet, but I thought it was pretty cool. I'm sure it will come in handy. Um, and then I have another one of these little things and they're at the perfect size to keep all of the plastic silverware. So a lot of times we go camping with my big family or things like that or don't want to do dishes so I do have a lot of plastic silverware in there as well. Next up I have ah, I have my little trailer trash can that I keep in here um, along with my paper towel holder that I got at the dollar store and a couple paper towels that usually go on it. Um, we have coffee because one can never be without coffee, apparently. So I keep extra coffee in here. Um, then I have this little tote. This little tote just has um, oil in it. So I keep an avocado oil because we do s seem to use it quite a bit camping. And then in this last, last tote here, here is I have just different things that you need for the kitchen. So we have these hot pads, different kinds. Then, of course, I have my trash bags, Ziploc bags for leftovers or different things that you might need them with, and then um, my Reynolds uh, aluminum foil wrap. Oh, I can't remember the name. This of that. is the bathroom area that does fold down. Um, I actually go ahead and just keep my shampoo and body wash and things like that right in some Ziploc bags in the bathtub just so it's easier. And again, if they make a mess, it's an easy cleanup. One of the best places you have in any travel trailer to store things is of course on your dinette area. Um, usually on the top of what I have here, I put the pads and then I cut, put all my blankets and pillows and things like that that I keep in the trailer. And I'll show you later on what that looks like when I have that on, but I took it off for just this part of the video. So let me show you what I have inside Underneath of the table, I do always keep our carpet. So we have a big carpet to put outside and I figured this is just the best place it's easier. Also, sometimes when we're traveling, I'll like shove, you know, food or different things that I need to pack in there. It gives it a little bit extra. Space. Okay, so inside my left one over here, what I have. Um, I have this tote right here. So I did get these totes. This one has all of our little fans and things that go to the ceiling, plus the shower curtain that goes in our shower and the divider. 
this tote has got all of the super awesome plumbing things that we need for outside and then also has I have it here because this right here is a door so we want to make sure that we can get to it um, this bag has got my extra RV toilet paper paper towels and some shop towels just in case we need them this one over here has got regular toilet paper so if we're at a campground that's got regular bathrooms or for people that are using the bathrooms or whatever I do have extra toilet paper just in case and then underneath this, I have my Dutch oven box. Um, I have my actual Dutch oven in there. I kept the box so that it doesn't slide around, get anything dirty or get uh, ding anything. So I just kept the box to keep that in. Um, and then I have, of course, my Costco size paper plates for those times that we don't want to do the dishes. Underneath that, in these uh, paper bags, what I have is that's where I keep my cast iron skillets. Um, I keep them in paper bags so that they don't get anything dirty because they, when they are on the fire, you know, of course they get things dirty and that way they're nice and secure. In this tote here is where I actually keep, I have these um, plates and bowls. So I have uh, four big plates, four small plates and four bowls. Then they just stay in my trailer. And then my husband's percolator because got to have that coffee. And then I also just throw a roll of Clorox wipes in here because, you know, you never know when you So that is what I have in the left side of here. And let me show you the other so side. the right side of my dinette. This is pretty typical, you know, camp thing. So I have mine and my husband's camp chairs. And we also have a little camp table that we keep in here. Then I have the boys' toddler camp chairs. We have the, the big giant blow up um, hammock things. And I keep those in here. Plus I keep my regular hammock. And then I also have this, um, it's just a big picnic blanket um, that we can put down when we're at the beach or wherever, just so we have it. This I bought because um, my children get really messy. And before we bought this tent trailer, we had one that didn't have a shower or a bathtub in it. So this is actually a fold up doggy pool. And we will put it outside and warm up some water and put it in there and give the toddlers a bath outside. And it saved us in so many different times. Uh, then I have just, of course, little broom and dustpan. And then this bag is just an extra bag I keep in here for like if we needed to go for a walk or something like that so that we have a bag to put it in. So that is what I have in this side. So on the dinette here is where I keep all of the bedding. Um, it actually works perfect because I just keep it there and when it pops down it goes right over it so I don't have to worry about it. Um, so I have like the door to my bathroom that goes over there when it's popped up. I have that there. I have um, my little rail for my toddlers, all of our bed, blankets. We bring extra blankets and extra pillows because I have little kids and you never know where they're going to sleep or if I have anybody else joining us if they need extra stuff. So I always try to keep that in here and I do have the space for it. So I just put it here. Um, you know, I have our sheets, our comforters, things like that. I also um, keep the um, things the shelves that hang from the ceiling I keep those on here because I lay nice and flat so that's what I keep in this area over here we actually have another little area that we can store stuff I don't keep a lot of things in here um, in this one which you can also access from the outside I just keep we have an extra tent and extra sleeping bags and this is if we're camping with anybody or if anybody decides to show up in camp we do have extra stuff just in case anybody else is not prepared I actually do have two little drawers here and I do keep some stuff in here so in the bottom drawer I keep my citronella candle um, whatever glow sticks that I've bought for the kids we have our first aid kit this has just got some clothes pins in it they come in handy I have like a fanny pack down here for walks and then we recently got these uh cosmic magical flame things they make your uh fire rainbow colors the boys think they're so great so we keep them in here for some fun things to do around the fire okay. so in the top drawer here I have um extra flashlights and all of the lighters this is a battery charger for when we're plugged in and then phone charger cords extra hand sanitizer just in case this is um, one of those retractable uh, straw things for the fire which is great um, I have tissues as a just in case I'm a mom kind of thing this was just a joke thing somebody gave us so I keep it in here just in case we ever need it I don't think we'll use it but it's there um, I also have some little card games so uno regular cards you know some flash cards for my toddlers somebody gave us this it's like a would you rather campfire game which is really cool I also keep um, this in here so what this is is I started 
documenting all of our trips. So if you open it up, I put, you know, when we went, where we stayed, the site we stayed, the people who we went, and then I'll like write memories about that trip. Um, and I've been doing that since the last year, just so like we can look back, see what we did, remember, and then so my kids have something um, for when they get older. And underneath the microwave, I do have another cupboard down here, which I will show you. I'll have to show you some from the outside. Um, this is things that we have like, so this goes on the picnic table and you actually put your uh, garbage bag on it. Most of the state park picnic tables that we go to, it doesn't actually fit, but it fits the Costco fold-up table is perfect. And you just put your garbage bag on there so that you have somewhere so you don't have to like find a tree or something to hang it on. Um, I also have this bin. So inside this bin is we do have some wasp traps just because we've gone on a couple camping trips where we've literally been eaten alive by all of the the wasps and things around and it was a crazy so I made sure to buy some wasp traps to have on hand and then I have my um table cloths on there um and then I have like my dog leash thing down here and then we have some like extra girl stuff and I always keep this in the trailer it's just you know an air um blow up thing because there seems to always be somebody that needs you to blow up their air mattress or things to float on the river or different things like that. So I'm going to go around and show you the other side now. All right, so this one has the access from the outside, and this is the first thing we can open before we pop up. So I like to keep things that we need automatically in here. So we have um, a foot rest or footstool thing that I keep right here. This box has got the uh, tire things um, I forget what you call them, but the things that stop the tires. And then of course we have like this regular camp bin that's got extra rope and a bladder pack, which is like for the solar shower thing. Um, some, you know, a knife and string and things like that. And then of course the um, hatchet. And then down here is just extra trailer supplies. Um, so drill just in case we need it, the things that go in the toilet, um, different things like that I keep in this bin on the bottom just so it's easy access for when we need it. That's just a quick little walkthrough of where I put stuff in the pop-up. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.